This video will show you how to set up gradebook integration between Schoology and Infinite Campus. If you're a secondary teacher with multiple sections of a course, you likely want to start by linking those sections. Here's an example. Career Investigations has three sections. If I click the gear icon to the right of the first section, I can choose Link Existing Section. Then I can check the boxes next to the sections that I wish to link to that and click Next. It will require you to download the gradebook. Since this is the beginning of the semester, this is just a formality, so it doesn't matter what you select. Download it, and that should download automatically. Then you do need to read this little message about what the sections will share and click Link Sections. Now you'll see Career Investigations looks like it just has one section, but it's really three linked. So in that course, if I select it, I have three sections in one. The next step is to match or map categories between Schoology and Infinite Campus gradebooks. Look in the left menu for Infinite Campus. Select that. You'll now see Sync Grades and Configuration. You'll need to go to Configuration, and that happens at the beginning of each course. You only need to do this once, but it's very, very important. Now you'll see on the left column, Infinite Campus Categories, Formative and Summative. On the right side, you're going to match Schoology categories with those. Because this is a new course, there's no categories in Schoology yet. So select the drop down and just select create new Schoology category and do that for each one. That's going to create those categories in the Schoology for you. Save it and you'll see that happened. Now at the top of the screen you'll see that if there's linked sections you'll see you need to switch between sections. And so you can go ahead and select the next section. And you do need to do this for each one. Go to Configuration. And this time, don't choose Create New Category because it was already created in that last step. So just choose the matching one. Formative for Formative, Summative for Summative. Save it. And once that saves, go to the very last section in this case. That number will vary based on how many sections you linked. Go to Configuration and Formative for Formative, Summative for Summative, and Save. After mapping your categories, go to the Grade Setup area where we will weight the categories. Choose the weighting that your building specifies. Most buildings have a 20% weight for formative, 80% for summative. Check with your building leadership or tech integration specialist if you're not sure. Go ahead and set those. While you're here, also set the final grade settings. The gradebook scale, you want this gradebook scale to match what's in Infinite Campus. And so Again, most buildings are going to choose the secondary scale uh, unless you're an IB school, and then you'll choose the appropriate scale for your school. Once you've finished that, save it. This will save it for all those sections that are linked together. Now let's talk about adding materials to your course. If you've taught the course before, you may have copied materials in, as you see here. Here I can see there are these assignments. One of the biggest changes with this integration is an additional field. So let's try adding some materials to this course. Let's just add an assignment, for example. We'll call this sample assignment. And again, you put in a detailed description, the scalar rubric, the number of points. The grading task field is a new one. 
And the options are going to vary based on your course. But you always want to choose the one that starts with quarter. This is really just a setup for other types of connections between Infinite Campus and Schoology. And so it's just something that has to be done. You always choose the one that says quarter, no matter if you're teaching a semester class or you're teaching a class that's year long and made up of four quarters, like in the middle school. Always choose quarter for the grading task. And that just means it's feeding into a grade for a quarter on the Infinite Campus side. Category, you can choose the appropriate category, formative or summative, uh, and the rest is good enough. We'll just create this one for now. Something that you'll notice is that if you've brought in a bunch of assignments, like this folder you see here from another course, you'll want to go into what's called the bulk edit area in the gradebook. So at this point, we're going to go into the gradebook. And over here, bulk edit. In the bulk edit area, you'll see that assignment that we just created. But all of these other ones came in and they don't have a category selected and they don't have a grading task selected. And so you will need to do that for those assignments before you start using them with students and having them count in the gradebook. So I'll just quickly go through and we'll make a couple of these formative and we'll make one of them summative at the end. For grading tasks, remember you always choose the one that says quarter at the beginning. Your course shouldn't have as many as you see in this example course. This is a demo setup and hopefully yours will be more streamlined. Quarter. So make sure grading task always says quarter. Again, even if you're teaching a high school class, make sure that's the case. Uh, for grading period, I'm going to go ahead and select those. So. If you copy these from another course in the middle of the year, sometimes some of this comes over already. But since this is content from a previous year, that didn't happen. And so I'll go ahead and save. The last thing you need to know is how to sync grades from Schoology to Infinite Campus. It's important to note that all grading should be done in Schoology and sent over to Infinite Campus. Very simple to sync your grades once you've set this up. In the gradebook, you can update grades. Um, so I could fill all the grades. I'm just going to do that for an example. Set all the grades to maybe 90, well, we'll do 100%. And so you can set all those. Um, I can put in a few other grades if I want. And if you want, you can also mark things as excused, and that works. The other flag that works well is missing. Incomplete does not transfer over. So really it's things that are excused or exempt on the infinite campus side, or things that are missing and count as zero. Um, something else that happens is comments do come over. So I could say um, great supporting details. And if I wanted to say, display that to student, that's fine. Once you're ready to sync grades, look for this little sync changes to infinite campus one roster and select that. That will start the process. Depending on the time of year, it may be really fast or it may take a little while. You can check the status of your sync by clicking on the clipboard next to that. While things are queued and running, you'll see that symbol. And when that stops, it means it's done. I want to emphasize before we end this video that no grading should be done in Infinite Campus. Everything should be done in Schoology and go over to Infinite Campus. The only work you'll do in the Infinite Campus gradebook is when you're posting grades and if you make any comments to go with that. Um, families and students will not be directed to go to the Infinite Campus Gradebook. The main advantage will be that school leadership can run reports a lot more often, and it will be better for things like missing assignment reports or NC reports. 
Check with your check in tech integration specialist if you have questions. Thank you.